Hi, I'm here with uh, Judith and she will explain what happened to her. Hi, my name is Judy. I'm Guy Tenenbaum's daughter-in-law. I was diagnosed right before COVID with F2 liver fibrosis, uh, fatty liver, and inflammation of the liver. Uh, before that, I was always tired. I uh, was almost 200 pounds, very overweight. Uh, I'm only 5'3". Uh, and uh, I was always tired. I would wake up with nausea, go to bed nauseous. I had no energy. And then I started to have a lot of pain in my lower right rib cage, right underneath and in the back. So I went to see a doctor and he said that it was nothing, just a little muscular pain. Uh, and then I would get nauseous after I would eat because my diet mainly consisted of eating a lot of sugars, a lot of carbs, um, processed foods. And I was uh, an emotional eater. So every time I would be stressed, I would eat cookies, cakes, ice cream. To make a long story short, I was referred to a gastroenterologist and he diagnosed me with uh, the fatty liver. So I said, what, what do I do? He said, well, get on a diet and exercise a little. I said, but what do I eat? He said, just, I don't know, just uh, cut out a little bit of the foods, the amount of foods that you eat. I said, but can you give me a diet plan? I don't know what to eat. I've done diets my whole life. I've always failed. I lose the weight, then I put the weight back on. Uh, just eat a little bit less. So I went home, I started to do research and I decided to do fasting through Guy that I learned that he cured his cancer. So I said, if it worked for Guy that he was able to cure his cancer, I'm gonna fast. So I did uh, actually a 69 hour fast where I did only uh, black coffee, water and green tea. And I had lost in those three days, I think I had lost like 15 pounds because I was no longer consuming the cakes, cookies, ice cream. I would wake up in the morning and I would have four chocolate croissants with uh, regular milk and sugar, four tablespoons of sugar in my coffee. So I figured when I cut all of that out, my body went shh. And um, I saw that that worked. So I said, wait a minute, maybe if that worked that I lost the weight and I no longer had the nausea when I would go to bed or wake up nauseous. I said, maybe I should do what he does and do intermittent fasting, which is time restrictive eating. So I decided to become plant-based vegan. I took all animal protein from my diet out and I said, I'm not gonna consume for one year any sugar, anything that's white, nothing that's white flour, white rice, pasta, cakes, cookies. And I ate the predominant milk, milk very good. And, the, and I went to sugar-free almond milk, no sugar in my coffee. And I only did two meals a day, my breakfast at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then I had lunch at two o'clock, which was either soup or a salad. And nothing after. Nothing after until the next day at 10 o'clock in the morning. And within the first uh, 10 months, I had lost 50 pounds and I never felt better. So I, uh, I went back a year later to my gastroenterologist and I had all my checkups again. And uh, he said, I had a fiber scan again of the liver. And he said, I have very good news. I said, what? He goes, you no longer have fatty liver. You no longer have F2 liver fi uh, fibrosis. He says, your liver is perfect. The color is perfect. The size is perfect. You no longer have inflammation. I said, oh, wow, I can't believe it. So everything I did worked. So what do I do now? Keep doing what you're doing for life. I said, and so. A, a question before he said, it's very uh, uh, grave, grave, how you say that? Yes, he said that uh, when you get F2 liver fibrosis, you're in the middle. And that if you continue to do worse and not change your lifestyle and your eating habits, I will go to F3, which is 
right under F4 is cancer of the liver, which is unreversible. And he said, the good, the good news is that F2, you're in the middle and the liver has the ability to be able to heal itself. It's the only organ in the body that can be repaired until it gets to F4. And he told you, if you continue the way you had before, you had six months. He said, I give you six months to a year that you will go to F4 and you will have liver cancer. He said, which is uh, non-reversible. So um, at the same time, when I started my healing journey, I had lost two very good friends to liver cancer. And uh, they had metastasized the cancer in the bones. And they had a, a lot of pain, horrific, in and out of the hospital. And I said, my God, I, I don't wanna die like that. I don't wanna have liver cancer. So uh, I said, I have to change my life and the way I eat and the way I think about food and my relationship with food. And the good news is he taught me, he said, please give up the sugar. And I learned that when I gave up the sugar, my body never craved the sugar anymore. But before he used to tell me, I'm like, but I always want to eat. I'm always hungry. I always want sugar. And he said, please give up the sugar. So I did that. And then I, ju I just don't crave sugar anymore. And I'm not hungry. And I have lots of energy. And I've been the same weight for the last uh, almost four years. I have not put any weight back on. And uh, today, what are you doing? You still eat uh, properly? Yes, I do. Uh, I plant-based vegan and I do uh, one month. I eat uh, one meal a day for one month and the following month I eat two meals a day, either at 10 o'clock or at two in the afternoon. The following month, only one meal a day. When I do the one meal a day, it's at two o'clock. And again, it's mainly soups, vegetables and i eat a lot a lot like he that i've learned from his videos raw vegetables broccoli a lot of cruciferous vegetables a lot a lot a lot of brussels sprouts a cauliflower peppers a, basically the colors of the rainbow of the food a lot of diversity in my dish but i don't eat any uh, white flour or sugar and what is, for you, the, princip the principal reason of your recovery? Uh, not consuming sugar and doing uh, intermittent fasting for life. You hear what she said? I'm happy because she is my daughter-in-law and I would like to keep her alive. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. No, thank you, Guy. Have a nice day, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.